Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. We have another food review. Uh, we're in my car. Um, the real artsy reason for that is because it's summer, everyone's taking road trips, you're driving to the beach, to the, the amusement park, to visit your friend, to go to the desert or national parks. Um, I won't get into the practical reason, but there's the artsy reason, you know. Um, if Keith Habersberger can do this with canes, I can do this with um, the Wild Burrito. So this place is like within walking distance, so I'm extra excited. And they serve breakfast burritos all day long. So, uh, but we're going to start with everything that um, any good college age or just any general human being on the planet should start with. The guacamole. So, ooh. She smells fresh. Um, here. This actually works out that I'm in my car. So it's, um, I wouldn't say as chunky. Like, it's not super chunky. It's a little bit finer. Um, chips. Okay. Got a good chip. Lightly salted. Here for this. Ooh, she's smooth. I like that. That's good. Good. Um, it doesn't have any like spice to it. It reminds me of Chipotle's guacamole. Um, that kind of very smooth, very fresh, um, well seasoned, well distributed, well incorporated. So giving this like a 12 out of 10. This is for, um, I got a side of guacamole with chips and they had, this is the, oh, it doesn't even say on the bottom. This is the four ounce, yeah. Four ounce with chips, they said this was good for one to two people. And then they had the eight ounces um, with chips. So I was like, let's go four. As much as I could eat eight, I have this huge burrito. I was like, I gotta give this guac like the test, make sure it's all good. You know what? I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna go in for a second. This video's gonna be a little bit longer, but I gotta go in for the second bite. Oh, that's good. Okay. So I got the breakfast burrito. Um, breakfast gone mild. They have like a traditional breakfast burrito. They have their like um, standard breakfast burrito. They have breakfast gone wild and then breakfast gone mild. And I think the only difference, I'll put a list of ingredients. How convenient I have this open space. List of ingredients will be here. So I don't remember them off the top of my head. Um, but breakfast gone mild, breakfast gone wild will have the same ingredient list except with I think something that makes it spicy or spicier. I didn't want to go for a lot of heat right now. Um, and this, first of all, this burrito is still hot. Like it's very warm. And then let me, Ooh, it's definitely hot when you take it. Holy crap. That's hot. Napkins. Okay. So this is the, here, let's, let's do this. This is the burrito. It's extremely hot and it's, it, it's heavy. It feels like a small child. Let's unwrap. Ooh. I got to I got hit with tortilla immediately. Okay, here we go. So it's huge. It's very huge. The tortilla feels very um. I shouldn't say thin, but it does not feel like this is gonna be super tortilla heavy. I'm gonna say that this is chock full, and the tortilla. Oh, it's leaking. It. Oh, okay. So I'm going to say that this is like a very good burrito of like, it's not going to be a lot of breadiness. I do know off the top of my head, there are eggs, hash browns, bacon, and cheese in here. So like, and then some, some other things. So let's, um, as I said, the list will be right here. So let's dive in. How do I want to, it's just so hot. I'm honestly a little bit nervous to bite into it. I'll bite in on the fold. Take a look inside. I don't know what I got a bite of, but it was delicious. 
So you can see the egg in there. There's chorizo in here. I can see the cheese. The cheese, well, I can see the potato, and the cheese is nice and, like, melted. First of all, this burrito is, just by touch, you can tell is hot. But I do like when the cheese isn't, cheese is, has melted a little bit. Um, I'm going to go in for another bite to see if I can get, I think I got a lot of bread. Um, like, the first bite of a burrito is always a little bit more tortilla. And I'm trying to eat from the side. But let's try again, see if I can get a little more filling. Mm. Oh yeah. Got more filling this time. I was also a little hesitant to go deep on that first bite because it is so hot and I didn't want to like burn my mouth. This the potato, crisp. Crisp potato. Um I think they're like little cubes. You can like here, let me hold this up. I hope this isn't gross, but you can like see in there. You got nice chunks of bacon. The potato's got a crispy skin. The egg is, um, the egg's soft. The egg's fresh. You can tell that this was scrambled, um, you know, for, made to order. This was made to order. There's chorizo in here. I don't know what chorizo is. I'll Google it and probably put an explanation again here. Man, I do, these food videos are always so easy to edit. And this one's gonna require a little bit of research. I'm gonna go in for another bite. Ooh. Oh, that bite was hotter. Um, Temperature-wise, not so much, like, spice level. Ooh. You saw, saw that little cheese pull. Always a good sign. This burrito is just, oh my god. Um, it's everything you want in a breakfast burrito. Honestly, this is everything I want. First of all, this is like a Chipotle-sized burrito. Um, which I'm going to wrap up. It's like a Chipotle-sized burrito. And it's breakfast. First of all, why is Chipotle not on a breakfast burrito game? I think, like... They're, they're missing out on a market. Um, I got this for dinner. First of all, this is an all-day breakfast burrito. And I'm here for it. I love not... It's the only reason I like going to Taco Bell for breakfast is I don't have to get up. Like, if I'm having a lazy morning and I get up at 10.30 and hop in the car real quick and drive, you know, to State Street, get, get me that, that Taco Bell breakfast, that's what I'm here for. This is what I wish, like... Like, you don't get Taco Bell for the authenticity of it. You get Taco Bell because it's cheap and, like, arguably very delicious. Um, this is what you want that Taco Bell breakfast burrito to be. This is what you wish Chipotle would put on their menu. Now, this place is not, uh, the Wild Burrito. Um, I'll put their logo up. Their logo is pretty cool. Um, the Wild Burrito. They don't, they do breakfast burritos. They do tacos, quesadillas. They have a whole host of excuse me, they have a whole host of vegan and vegetarian options. This was also, I ordered online, which I was really happy I did because when I went, not only were there people packing the, the place and outside, there were like two or three orders ahead of me, so I'm glad I ordered online. And the order was honestly done uh, like rather quickly. I think they gave me like 20 minutes, like a 20 minute window, and I went, I started walking over after 10 minutes of waiting and it was already done, like it was already waiting for me, so they were very quick. Um, but yeah, they do gluten. Uh, I got an option I, to do like a gluten-free uh, tortilla or to do this, I think, in a bowl. I could be wrong. I hope I'm not wrong. But to do it like without a tortilla uh, or on a gluten-free tortilla. They even had on the website, um, they had like, you know, breakfast burritos, tacos, sides, uh, starters, you know, they went down the list. Uh, but they also had and they they had all your options there but then they had specialty options for like say you're searching through tacos and you can't find like a, the gluten-free thing you if you go back and scroll down it says like gluten-free and it says like gluten-free options or and vegan options and then you just click that and it's all of their vegan options for across like quesadilla taco breakfast burrito all compiled and sides and stuff all compiled on a list they also had flights of salsa <laughs> which I thought was interesting. I did not grab because I'm much more into guacamole. I do love salsa. 
and you could get like flights of the salsa verde and then they had a couple other different um, red salsas that ranged in spice level so I thought that was very interesting as well so vegan friendly uh, gluten sensitive people my gluten sensitive peeps friendly um, and very like easy to like to go through to to look at to find and then the walkover was just great it's a good location it's like right off the boards um, wow I'm glad I got to talk a little bit because this burrito is going to cool down and I'm going to be able to like as my sister would say, uh, hoove it. Um, Cause I'm really excited. Chips were good. Everything's good. Also this burrito, uh, I'll say, I don't like to get much in the pricing um, because sometimes you're paying like top quality for like subpar food. Um, this burrito is, where is it? Was like 8.50. I don't know how much a Chipotle burrito is cause I don't really get Chipotle, but you're paying I think like 10, $11 for a Chipotle burrito. So you're paying a little bit less breakfast burrito it is 6 42 at night and i'm eating a fresh breakfast burrito so cannot say enough nice things about this place 12 out of 10 would recommend i only had to walk like four minutes it's literally like just like a couple blocks up a couple blocks over i'd walk three miles both ways probably walk three miles both ways to get this burrito probably walk to the burrito eat it and walk back I'm gonna need to walk it off after this. This thing is like, it's like a small child. I wish I had a scale, cause this thing is, I don't have like a good scale here. I'll, people, I have small hands, but like, here's my fist next to the burrito. This thing is huge. So definitely worth it. I'm definitely gonna have to get into a food coma. Man, now that it's out. Mm. I mean, just look at that. Look at that potatoey, eggy, bacony goodness. Um, yeah, you. This thing is packed. It's 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 the burrito you dream about, or the burrito I've dreamed about, the breakfast burrito that I've dreamed about, that I've always hoped for, and wanted. Shout out to my mom because she found this place. I don't know. I don't remember how she told me how she found it, but she said, Google it. I did, and I was like, Mom, it's within walking distance. So, went and was like, let's do a video tonight. So, yeah, 12 out of 10 recommend the breakfast burrito. Definitely recommend picking up some guac. It's never too early or too late for guac. Also, yeah, this place opens at 11 a.m., so if you want that, you know, had a little too much the night before, you're waking up late, you don't want to go to the beach just yet, but you need to, like this. I would, I would love to eat after a. This is like the the night after. I had I had a great time with my friends. You know, slept probably great because I'm 22 and could still handle my alcohol. Wake up late the next morning. It's like, man, guys, what are we doing? I need like some grease. I, I actually, this isn't very greasy. It's like, I need some carbs, I need a little bacon, a little cheese. This is this is what I want. This burrito. Whoa. I set it down on my seat and it made like a huge thud. So yeah, that's Wild Burrito. No, sorry. Oh yes, the Wild Burrito. That's the Wild Burrito. I'm definitely gonna be back. I hopefully will try other things and make a video about them, but this breakfast burrito is so good. All right, I'm going to shut up. This video is already getting a little long. This isn't like the pierogi video where I had like multiple flavors. It's like I had two things to try and I just started gushing about how great this burrito was. All right, the Wild Burrito. Check them out. If you're in Wildwood, 12 out of 10 would recommend. Ah, oh, so good. Um, thank you all for watching. Um, uh, I love doing these food videos. I'll hopefully have more um, beach videos coming out to you soon. Hopefully going to record some... Um, book reviews uh as well it's just this is a great thing about me being here on vacations like I can play it day by day and I'm not on any set schedule so I'll, I'll do what I want when I want it but I'm making some stuff excited to put that out for you guys excuse me look for more food videos to come as well thank you all for watching I love you all also shout out to Allie thank you uh she helped me pick this hat out she um said blue would really make my eyes pop and Ali, I agree with you, so thank you. Have a great day, everyone.